Hello everybody, welcome to Okachimachi. This is where you'll find one of Tokyo's greatest markets, street food market and working market. People still come here, not just tourists, locals do. This is Ueno, well, Ameyoko, Aokachimachi. And in this episode, I'm gonna be comparing how you doing? Talking about what is the greatest street food market for in Tokyo. Now, we have to make sure we keep the word market at the top here because Askusa is also a very great place to get street food, but it's not te technically a market. It's a sh area. So, let, let's, go, let's go down there. Um, yesterday, I was at Skiji Market. Skiji is famous for being a fish market. Now, the fish market is no longer there. And if you say, take me to the fish market to a taxi driver, you're going to be taken to Toyosu. So, a lot of Instagrammers and YouTubers are calling it the Skiji Fish Market. Cut out the fish, just keep the market. It's Skiji Market now. The fish market is in Toyosu, which is a few kilometers away. Just a little bit of note, if you do tell a taxi from Tokyo Station, they'll take you to the wrong place. Be careful. All right, this is the experience that you would get at Skiji Market, which I think is becoming maybe the most exciting um, street food market in Tokyo right now. I was shocked yesterday to go there. Um, check out this short video that I made about it here. You can see it is absolutely packed there. So many people. I, this is a, a weekday too, just before lunchtime. I'm gonna make my way out of the station while I'm showing you this. It was just crowded. But the thing is with this market, 99% of the people are tourists. At least it feels like that because they're just, um, just, I don't think there's a reason why locals would go there because it's no longer a fish market. There are some pretty good restaurants like Sushi Zanmai, and, and, but this is street food. It's a very Instagrammable place to get food. And I, I found that um, uh, tourists that go there are, saw something that they liked from somebody on social media, and that's one of the reasons why they went there. And it is crowded. Tour busts also dump people off there at the end of the street, get some food. This guy's sneaking, that's not real food right there. <laughs> They had signs in English. They tell you the prices. It's very clear and it's very simple to get street food here, which I think one of the reasons why this place is really successful. I didn't think it was going to take off after the market moved in 2018. Well, guess what? Skiji Market is still booming. And uh, well, not over the pandemic, but since tourism returned in November of 2022, look at the signs in English there. That's really great. It has really, really, really ballooned. And it's hard to walk around. If you're getting there early, like around 9.30, uh, 10 o'clock, it's not as crowded, but around 11, boy, do tourists start to come in. And usually the, the market will shut down around two or three. But some of the shops stay open because tourists, you know, don't go there for fish. The fish market, when it was there, you'd get there at like 5 a.m., 4 a.m. for the, the auction. Um, but. There's still elements of, of, the, of the culture from before. There are some places that still sell sushi, still sell fish, still sell fish cutting knives, for example. But for the most part, it is not a fish market. It is a street food market. Look at all those people holding sticks of food. Sean 808 is here, aloha. And Hikaru Katayama, absolutely. Let's go see if we can get some takoyaki here. Now, I, what I noticed is the shop that you saw before was a brand new coffee shop and entrepreneurs have been coming in there creating new kinds of places for people to hang out at Skiji Market. Uh, I think it's newer. It feels newer. There's, a, there's a, uh, like a, a fresher vibe than here in Ameyoko. There's this uh, taco sembe, which is a smushed up octopus into a, a cracker. And there's a line that looks like Walt Disney World there. It was pretty crazy yesterday. But guess what? We're not there today. We're here, Ameyoko. Boom, there is the iconic, there is, there's the iconic sign right there. I'm gonna take you walk down here and we're gonna kind of compare the vibe of Ameyoko Market to what you see here today. I think this is still, I probably should have crossed the street, but we, we have a little bit of time. I still think that this is maybe the best market. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, I am live streaming here. Dude, I just, <laughs> 
So I got out, I thought you were in there, and then I just heard you. I'm like, dude, I just made it. Well, there you go. Nice. So yeah. Chat, how are y'all? Yeah, everybody. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon, okay. Yeah. Yeah, so I was over in Ikebukuro and then I saw your notification that you're gonna go live over here. Yeah. And I'm like, this is my last day here. Oh, really? So I have to get here before and see him because, I mean, you're the reason why I decided no. to come to. No. Honestly, it is. You are the reason why I decided to come to Japan. Like, gosh, I was watching your early videos like 2017, 2018. So now you're making me feel, wait, I am old. So, hey, you know, <laughs> Back, you know, with COVID and everything, I was just like, you know what? You know, I was here in 2018, 2019, and then, you know, COVID happened. Right. But, uh, yeah, and then I finally got here, and I'm just like, you know what? Is there going to be a chance I see John here? There's always a chance. There's always a chance. So. There's always a chance. Hey, guys. Nice to see you, Brandon. We're getting some people saying hi to you. <laughs> uh, Thanks. I, we're, I'm talking about markets. Did you go to Tsukiji on this trip? No, I did not. Um, so my trip started off uh, flying into Haneda, and then I went to Osaka, uh, Kyoto, uh, Hiroshima, and then the last few days have been here. And it's just been, you know, I kind of wanted to finish some of the uh, things I couldn't do back in uh, 2019. Ah. And so I'll make my way over to Tsukiji at some point, you know, because what year was it that... 2018. Okay. So... I know exactly what you're going to ask. <laughs> so 2018. Like one of those things, timing on my part was, you know, I don't know if it was bad or it was just, you know, it was one of those things. Yeah, um, the timing was bad. Well, it's evolved now from what it used to be, a fish market to a food market. Uh -huh. it was just pretty, I thought it was pretty incredible. And, yeah. and today I'm taking everybody to see if the Amiyoko experience rivals that of Tsukiji Market. And I have to tell you, Amiyoko is just a little bit more special because it's still like a real market. Locals come here. It's it, it just, I mean, just by looking at here in person, y'all, I mean, I, like, whatever John, you know, says, I mean, it's true. Like, this really is, you know, it is an experience coming here. And, you know, I hope that a lot of people, you know, who are in chat that haven't been here are able to experience this one day. But um, yeah, I, I didn't. I knew you're starting the uh, the live stream. I didn't want to kind of you know take away from you. I just want to say hi real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so John, I appreciate. Like my original plan, plan was to do Ikabukuro and then Shibuya. So yeah. I'm actually gonna go back that way. Oh, I, I was okay. on the Yamanote. Great, nice, nice yes, to see you, buddy. Thank you, appreciate it. No, all. no, not really, y'all. <laughs> Well, I mean, I still am like one of the people who sometimes chats in there and you know everything like that. And now I'm here, I get to meet you. Yeah, I'm really happy to hear that. All right. But usually it picks up uh, as we get around here. It's not as crowded as I thought it was going to be. Oh, fresh coconuts. Those are harder to find. Oh, she's still in. What durian for two thousand yen? That's actually reasonable. Yeah, if we do get a bad signal, just let me know. All right, so we're we're um, between the two candy stores. Brandon has left. You're gonna, he's really gonna make that day count. I'm not sure if the signal has gone. These two places here are, you must, if you're coming to Amayoko, get off of that alley and you have to walk into these two candy shops here. And it, this used to be a different shop across the street, or at least it felt like it, but they're the same. What you can get here are, you basically are laid out all of the different kinds of candy and sweets and confections that are popular right now in one shop, which is freaking awesome. And if you take a look, and I'm just gonna pop inside the shop, they always have every kind of, of Kit Kat on display that's available in Japan. Melon, um, uh, salty lemon, uh, mint chocolate with collaboration with uh, Baskin Robbins, milk tea, caramel pudding, cookies and cream. So you can see what, what's, what is um, popular right now. And it's worth going in here, you know, Takeya, which is this purple department store, which is the cheapest in Japan, that's under renovation right now. So 
this is a great option if you know if you like to shop around. This there's a second entrance here, and there's also a side entrance on the main drag, but it's hard to find. You have to really look for it. But oh, look at this. That's that's pretty cool. They're even selling peaches and stuff. Wow. Boxes of grapes. How cool is that? Oh, it's, it's jelly. I see. So that's the difference. And you can get like really good gifts to take back home. This is the sports Zuen. I bought running shoes here and this market, I guess here's where the running shoes are. You can get shoes and things usually, I don't know, 20% off of what you would get at the ABC Mart. But you can get street um, uh, sportswear and things like this here. Always, always super cheap. There's a, a bargain bin where you can go in there, dig in there, and maybe find something that's your size. Um, you know, usually everything has elastic, so it, it'll fit. But that's what makes Amiyoko really great. It's not just a market for street food. It is a market for everybody. It's a market that you, locals use. I come here all the time, which is why I'm actually here. But I think the comparison, uh, and I see Michael Tran is here, ready or not, here I come, nine plus days. Thank you for answering my questions, you're very welcome. I'm sorry if I missed anything in the last couple of seconds that the uh, signal is going in. Uh, Chrissy is here, love your videos. I was in Tokyo in since 1984. Wow, that, that was a good year, I was 10 years old. Basically, my life was like that Stranger Things show. <laughs> all right, this, of course, you all know, is the infamous takoyaki right there. So you can get some really good street food here, but you can also get fruits like peaches, Bradshaw Studios here, how you doing? It's, I, I'm always really excited when I walk around. This is the, I think this is the best market in Tokyo. But for street food, Skiji is an up and comer and you cannot ignore it. Not anymore. So here's where I am. I made a little bit of a, of a map here to show you. So you can see this is Okachimachi on the bottom and Ueno on the top. Do you see the yellow line kind of, kind of separates uh, the, the two stations. And in that yellow area, that is where Ameyoko Market is. And this is where you'll be able to find all this. It kind of spreads out, but the main drag is along uh, the Yamanote, right underneath the Yamanote line. And it's about, what is it, 400 meters or something like that? It's like, uh, I don't know, quarter mile. So it's, it, there's a lot of shops around here, but when you, when you add in all the side alleys and, and stuff, you can walk, you can spend about three hours here just eating street food and exploring. It's, it is a pretty exciting place here. Um, I'm actually, what did, I, what did I zoom in? I'm actually just in our, right in the center there. And you can see underneath, where's the camera? Underneath there. How did I, oh boy, I'm zoomed in. Oh no. Ah. All right, there we go. Underneath the tracks, you also have places. Now, if it's ever raining, you seek, you seek refuge underneath here. And there are some street food restaurants. I, is it street food if it's a restaurant? I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't see a lot of street food, just that takoyaki so far. But it's coming. I've seen, you know, over the last three years, Ameyoko has changed. And I like to do, walk back here. And I'll, some of you are like, oh, you've already been here before. That's what I think trolls sound like. The, the thing is that in Tokyo, nothing stays the same. Shops will close and open so quickly that what was here a couple of, what's this? It's like uh, Pikachu and Mario together. That's like some kind of gummies. Oh, you can get Ipuru and uh, yeah, this, oh, this is Ichiran, Ichiran ramen and take it home. That's interesting. So the, the markets are always changing. Like, I don't remember this whiskey bar being here. This is kind of new. Yakitori bar. So you eat yakitori and have whiskey. A lot of these here, there's always something opening. This is a um, sticks of beef. 
I think this used to be, that's what? I think there used to be a kebab shop, but you know, who wants a kebab when you can get sticks of Wagyu for double the price, right? That's pretty cool. I, this is kind of new. Do you see inside of here? Let me just take a look, take a look here. Look at the seating that they have. So there's a bar up here and then you can just quickly jump in and have a seat. So, you know, Amiyoko has changed from what was a street food paradise to like a sit out the side, eat and drink and stay here for a lot longer experience. I like that. All right, we're gonna take a left really quickly just for like 15 seconds and do not send a super chat for me to try this. All right, please don't. Vending machine where you can get bugs from around Japan. Here's some crickets. Uh, here's those cockroaches. Here's some mixed pupae. If you ever wanted pupae, pupae. I'm not sure. Uh, how much is that? Oh, that's only f about $10. Really? That's, if you think about it, that's a bargain. Right? If you, if you are thinking about it, you have other issues. A zebra tarantula. You had me at zebra. Uh, okay. And what do we have here? This is um, a cider, which is a beetle. Sorry, we're back. Some signal problems right there, I apologize. So, yeah, on this street they're selling all sorts of things right here. Ooh, they have uh, oysters, bottles of cold beer being served. You can get some uh, uh, meat and, and fish. Again, it, it, it looks like it's, it's changed over the last year. Here's a ta Taiwanese chicken. Oh yeah, it says Taiwan Big Fried Chicken. Um, Eric Sir Six and I had this a few years ago. Yeah, Jared, I'm not gonna eat that bug. I told you, no way. Oh, here's the Yamagata Sakurambo, which is the uh, cherries from up in Yamagata. They're different. They're not as sweet, but they have a very balanced, very good t taste to them. But they're just different and they're, they are more expensive because they're rarer. I think they're called Rainier strawberry, uh, Rainier cherries. So they do have them in Washington, but they grow them here in, in uh, uh, Japan and they're more expensive as a result of that. Uh, you can see, I'm, I'm just walking by here. I'm seeing less street food and more like sit down with a menu and order and stick around for a while stuff. Although here's some uh, fruit, seafood, uh, fruit street food, anything on a stick, 500 yen for seven different vegetables, 200 yen for a piece of melon. I'm down with that. Actually, I'm down with that. All right, let's see if we can get something here. How could I come here and not eat? All right, here's a thousand yen. Let's put this to good use. You can get chocolate bananas too down there. Oh, it's so good. They put a little skirt on it. Hi, arigatouzaimasu. They put a little skirt on it so it, the juices won't fall into my hand. And then she put a tissue. That is so thoughtful. 
That's so thoughtful. All right, it's it, I don't think it's ripe yet. <laughs> it's, but I appreciate the effort. It's crunchy. It's not really, it, I don't think it's ripe yet. Again, you're seeing like food stands. So what they've done, I think, which is really interesting, people are gonna spend more money now as a result because they're gonna stay here longer. It's good for business. But a lot of these restaurants, they feel eth like ethnic restaurants here. This is, looks uh, Chinese or Taiwanese, I'm not sure. There's some liver. Oh boy, that melon is uh, not a you body melon. <laughs> Somebody recognize me. How you doing? Well, that's some good looking sausage. Wow. The melon's not very sweet. That's what I'm talking about. You just feel I'm a yoko, but I, I didn't. I don't hear as much shouting. I used to hear more shouting at Amayoko Market. I don't hear that. Where, where was the guy with the voice? There was this guy with this really low, somewhat unusual voice that he I, he's not here anymore. Sayan, sayan. Oh, you can see here. They've uh, cleaned up the signs quite a bit, so I think that the renovation between between before the pandemic and now has really made a difference with this market. But it's not the same kind of street food market as it was before. It's actually more of a a market market, and that's interesting because Skiji Market used to be the fish market, and now it's more of a street food market. Right? You go there just to get stuff on a stick. Here's a place cut fruits. That looks better. It's a it's double the price, but look at all the colors. This is a new shop. Oh, this is the shop. They went out of business in um in uh, Shinjuku. They had a shop in Shinjuku, and now they moved out here. Let me ask them. I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Shakayan? Wasn't that in Shinjuku? And in the back there, they have some watermelons. You used to be able to get a square watermelon from here. Shinjuku ni mise gatta desho ka? Ah, nan gatta ne? Hai. Ah, wakarimashita. All right, it was a, it's a different shop. I, I really wanted to clarify. I think it's a very similar name. They told me no. All right, we're gonna we're gonna cross over here, but first I wanna I wanna just go in and say hi to a friend of mine. I put the stick in my pocket. That's a dangerous thing when you put a stick in your pocket. It's not the best place. Oh, here he is. So for everybody, this is also a place you must stop here. This is a Shimura's. Uh, uh, shop, Mr. Shimura, Shimura-san is right there. If I go there, he's gonna, I'm gonna have to do a stop and chat, which is not a problem. But I know he's really busy. I, actually, he looks busy. 
but you can see uh, everything is a thousand yen. And he, what he does is he's got candy that are that is uh, close to expiration date or sort of like that. And, oh, <laughs> close to expiration sort of like that. But if you give him a thousand yen, he makes a show of it and will put everything into the bag, which is really great. Uh, if you're stopping in this area, this is the one thing you really have to stop and take a look at. And uh, now I gotta go say hi. Yeah. Ma ima live hai shin chu kero. Ma zutto koko ni konai nani kawatta kana? Shoto mina ni shoukai suru. Sugoi kawarimashita. Ah, so? Watashi. そうなのがわってね。違うところみたいと思うな。え、でもいいことですよね。なんか観光者戻ったから。そうだね。うん。と忙しい。まあまあね。ああ。不満よりはね。おお。You <笑> have to come here. なんか教えてる。Yeah, because he can she Let's get him more busy, yeah. Let's get him more busy. あ、ありがとう。また。ダイエット終わりました。じゃあまたまた来ますよ。後で。That's <笑> why I'm always I'm always kind of hesitant to walk by there because he's so kind-hearted. He's had that shop for since the 1980s, and that's pretty darn significant. That man will hook you up like no other. Dean, he's the best. Oh uh, hello! Oh, you f you found me. Oh, how you doing? Yeah, you found me. Yeah. We saw the stream and we're like, well, we're gonna go there anyway. Same me. Oh, were you? Okay, here you go. Where are you from? Uh, Washington State. Thank you so much. All right. Awesome. Oh, from Mexico. Awesome. I saw you from Arizona. Hey, welcome. Yeah. How long are you here for? I'm for a month. Oh, okay. Uh, we're just here till Sunday. Wow! Uh, Almost just two more days. Yeah, we're, we're on honeymoon, so we just, uh, we're in Thailand and then we've been here for a week. So. Oh, congratulations! Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. What do you think of this market here? Love it. We were here in December, so. Ah, uh, so you you know Japan? Yeah. Yeah, a little, a little, a little bit. Yeah. yeah. You have to watch all of John's videos so you know everything about Japan. A plug! <laughs> I, oh, I appreciate plug. it. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And in a month, where have you been? Well, I, I was. Uh, uh, do you remember the hotel in Koyashita? Oh yeah, right. On the train. Yeah. I was there. You went to that ho little yeah, hotel. Yeah, because I saw your your streaming like two years ago. Right. And oh, I was there in. That stream. That's a, a pretty unique place. Yes, right? it's a really unique place. The same room. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's a really nice room. I apologize for the mess. It was three years ago. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and did you end up going to Koyasan or anything like that? Yes, yes, Koyasan and all the, all that place is. Really beautiful. Awesome. It's really something. I'll put a link link to the stream. How much was it, by the way? Should I? I'm afraid to I, ask. It was cheap. It was. Oh, it was wasn't, okay. Yeah, it was okay. It wasn't that. Maybe like a uh, hundred, hundred bucks. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, not too bad. Night? It is a really nice room, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's kind of weird because it doesn't fit with the exactly. location. Exactly, because the location is countryside, and then you enter the room, and it's really luxury. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> That's like a secret place. Yeah. Now, you t now we told everybody. It's yes, now. Be hard to again. <laughs> no way, everybody know. <laughs> we thought we were slick because we liked the takoyaki shop that's down at the middle, and then we oh, saw the yeah. comments, and everybody's like, "Gotta go to the takoyaki yeah. shop." Oh yeah, you gotta go and get yeah. there. There's not good signal there, so I had to yeah. get the heck out of there. If you have time, go in and see Shimura-san because he he's uh, he said business is not that good. I feel I feel bad <laughs> for him, but he, he'll throw in all this junk food for a thousand yen. Really? If you tell him only in Japan, he'll probably add in like three things. We have a guy that was down there. Uh, he's just running like he's got like a little wooden countertop that's like hewn out of the like big log or something like that. And oh yeah. We we drank with him last time. We just call him Uncle Sake because he gave us sake for free last time. We oh here. really? Yeah. So we're gonna go see him after this. Too, so. Oh okay. You know what? All right. Let's let's do something really. I right, come with me. Let's. I'm, I get a yeah. thousand yen here. People have been giving me super okay. chats. So let's get let's. Let's go in there and get some some goodies for you guys. Oh, okay. Because I don't want, I don't I don't want it. I don't want it. But this will make this will make him really happy. And here, here, take take the thousand oh, yen so here, <laughs> and we'll we'll kind of split it up here. That's great. Yeah. All right. So let's do. 
This way I can also show what he does because it's almost like a little performance. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. We didn't get to go to him last time because he had a long line, so. Guess what? Shimura-san, Kankoshi wa mitsuketa. Hai, doza, koko, kono misei desu yo. <laughs> Good, we got a little bit of a buzz. The people are look at the, did you see all the okay. people coming yes. around. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, congratulations. Like with, this is this. I guess this is our wedding present. Yeah, junk, make it junk food. Yes. <laughs> junk food. That's really sure, cool. Us, we can't use yeah. It all. <laughs> yeah, I'm supposed to be on a diet. That's that's over. Yeah, you, you, go. <laughs> you go visit Shimura-san. It's over. Yeah. That is so exciting. That's, that's what so I'm fun. talking about. I I walk by there and I try to avoid it because I I love the show. Oh yeah, absolutely. Right. But I also know that I'm not going to do anything with this candy. It's, it yeah. just sits in my office and I look at it and then I start eating it little by little. Yeah. I know that's, the best. that's why we try to give away as much to friends and coworkers as possible. So I don't do the same thing. <laughs> that's why I'm telling you, you got to go to Shimura-san's shop and it's only 1,000 yen. You get like, yeah. that's like 3,000 yen worth of candy. I just inflated that price, probably like 2,000. <laughs> it's an food for the month. Yeah, yeah, that's enough yeah, junk yeah, yeah. food for the month right there. <laughs> we, yeah, there are homeless people too. You can just give it to them yeah. too, as well. It's that's probably a good party. idea. That's probably <laughs> But they we're at the end of the market right here. Peter told me about this machine, and I saw this at the vending machine, uh, retro vending machine corner. This is a, a fresh squeezed orange juice machine. That's 350 yen, which isn't too bad. And uh, yeah, it's freshly squeezed. These are the new kinds of vending machines that are coming about. I, but I, you know, I don't want to replace people's jobs with vending machines, so I, I, won't, I won't be supporting that machine. <laughs> All right, cool. You'll have to go through this. Yeah, you got a, got a lot of stuff there. Thank you. Hey, Brandani is in the house. I think that, that made his day too. Oh yeah, absolutely. That was really good that's because. Great <laughs> yeah, he told me how's business. He goes, it's okay. I said, well, that's not good enough. No, we gotta get we gotta get him moving here. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, that's where you'll see some pictures on Instagram of Amiyoka Market. It's right up there where the the stairway is. You take a picture from there. You got a really good shot looking back at the market. Oh, uh, I bet especially at sunset and you, you're high enough where you get the train platform up above so that'd be a highly recommended spot for everybody who wants to take a picture but this is where the uh, what is it the Keisei line to Narita is it you catch that going over there and the Yamanote line at the station but you can see it's about 400 meters is it better than did you guys go to Skiji market we did yeah last time we were here so which one's better I like this one better for sure oh, yeah. this one's better no, 100%. Yeah, yeah you've been yes, to both it, of them it's better. This is better. Well, what makes this better? I wonder. Is it just because it's a real? Savory foods here. Ah. Sweets over there. So if you're hungry, you're just gonna fill up on small little pastry buns. Right. Here, there's more food options. So if you're hungry, you'll 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 eat more better food here, more savory foods. It's really crowded. Yeah. But the the markets in Mexico are pretty vibrant too, right? Yes. Yes. It's kind of like remember like Mexico, Tsuki, but. But I don't know. This is more like Japanese. Yeah. 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 Like, well, you're next to. To, to the subway, uh, on, uh, on, you can hear the subway. Yeah, trains. you know, that's part of the ambience of it yes, all. That, yes. The train above the Yamanote and yes, the Kaihin exactly. uh, Tohoku line going back and forth is pretty huge. 
uh, for the sound effects. It's loud. Yes. It's supposed to be loud. <laughs> and if you enter in a in a restaurant, you can it, 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 feel it shaking. Yes, it's shaking. Oh, that's yeah. the best. Yes, that's the best. <laughs> that's the best. That Your beer like will it. come up and splash you in the face. I love that. <laughs> yes. They they they're, they replaced this sign. So if you haven't been here in a while, you'll see a new variety. I kind of don't like it. I wish they kept the retro feel. But you know, it's good to it's good that they they are putting a thought into keeping it fresh and safe because these, these probably if there's an earthquake, not the safest place to be. I just I didn't put that out there. Yeah. Well, thanks guys for coming to say yeah, hi and finding so me. Much. Thank you so much for the candy. Oh, you're welcome. Well, that, that actually looks heavy. Well, can I can I see how heavy oh, yeah, this? Absolutely. Holy macaroni! Yeah. Here, open this up here. I, yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. So I got oh, like pistachio ones and stuff. And you got the the friends and friends and family. Di uh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, the, that's the, the premium one. Dars. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. You, you only get this one if you come here with John. So you gotta. Yeah, he sure. said that because you're John's friend. He put one in there. Ah, <laughs> oh, she would have said it's yeah. awesome. What a man. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. So, yeah. You want to split up the bounty here? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here, let's get a. Oh, yeah. We get a screenshot. Yeah. 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 We're all here, we're here, all in this together now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's nice right there. So cool, yeah. All right, three, two, one. Yeah. Ah! All right. Cool. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And it's in 1080p. So. Yeah. I know people were complaining about the. It was 1080 for us. Maybe they just need to. Not tell me. About all righty. Oh here, I do. Oh yeah. Ready? Three, two, one. Cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Cool, man. Cool. Thanks, yeah. John. All right. Thanks You're welcome. Thank you so much. Great to yeah. meet you. And thank you. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. See you later. Oh, that's nice. It's cool. It, it's really cool when you get a chance to share uh, an experience like, like Shimura san putting the candy in. That was fun. This is kind of new. They're selling stuff outside. So, yeah, you know, I, I just, I, I really do think that Amiyoko is probably a better experience, but Skiji for street food is better. Stuff on a stick. If you just want to try some things, I think for Instagram, it's just like an Instagrammable place, and you probably see a lot of people, you know, posting pictures, but that's not, yeah, it's not what everybody wants, but it's kind of fun. It's just, it's for me, as someone who's been here for so darn long, this is my 25th year in Japan, I really think, I really think that Skiji is an important place here in the city. And the fact that they found a way to keep it going, that they found a way to make uh, the market relevant, that is really important, I think, because, you know, if they don't have Skiji market, they're probably gonna tear it all down and they, they just put in high-rise buildings or something. So we want to have as much personality to the city. We want to have as many uh, attractions for people to go to see, and that is, that is one of them. That's one of them. Oh, wow. This place has been here for ages as well. You can see they put the old pictures, too, of uh, the history of Ameyoko, and they said that they have some pretty good curry rice. It's a mom-and-pop shop, so professionals. Ace. It's called Ace. Oh, that's an old name, probably from the 60s. That's awesome. All right, we're on the back side of uh, Ameyoko Market, walking from Ueno Station a little bit. I just want to show you this side. It's a little bit more relaxed. There's some pachinko places here. Uh, you, you see there are some alleys that'll take you to the other side. But, yeah, I'm probably going to work with Shimura-san. And if we do a, a meetup, if you guys want to do a meetup, we should go. What was that sign? Looks like Kaosan Road. I feel dirty. But we should do a meet up here and then uh, just go over there and, sh and surprise Shimura-san. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Maybe I'll, I'll think about doing this uh, 
sometime in the next few weeks, perhaps. I, I don't know. But this is the vibe. This has sort of been the vibe. You see this? Like you would sit outside, they put these um, um, uh, shochu cartons, the 1.8 liter shochu cartons up there, and then you'd use that as a table and chair. And this is the vibe that we, they've had for uh, this area for such a long time. You can still get it in the alleys, but you can see that they're, they're catering more to tourists. And that's good and that's also bad because tourists want a, like an authentic experience and it's hard to do that. Um, when you're trying to make it nice, like what the expectations of the tourists are, eating out on the street should be a cheap stool, a rickety table, and that's it. Like this shop here hasn't changed with the green overhang. I've eaten here for the 20 years. I've had drinks with friends. Usually if we did an NHK shoot, we would end up there too. And this is a great tempura place here, Hamachan, in the alleys. You'll, you'll find here after about 5 p.m., they'll set up chairs and, and uh, they'll eat outside. But right now it's, it's lunchtime and, and sometimes the rules for Tokyo are kind of strict. So they bust, at, bust down a, on some of the tables. But we'll, we'll, we'll see over the next couple of years because the city's evolving. Yeah, so... <laughs> I don't think they wanted to be in the, in the stream, but I turned the camera around and I'm like, there they are. So I think you're getting a vibe here of what the difference is between Skiji Market and uh, Ameyoko Market. Yeah, it's just a different experience, but this, this is also, they're both places with, that are like mazes to explore. And you, you can have an adventure uh, in both those places, but I think, I think here, I don't know. I think it's just an, I think it's authentic here. I think this is one of the reasons why this place is always going to be amazing. It's authentic. And I'm noticing something big. They've paved the road. This is a newly paved road, so it looks cleaner. They've redone the bricks and paved the road. This is a wonderful development. Didn't notice this until now. Yeah, Joshua, you saw those shirts too, huh? <laughs> it wasn't just me. Well, you gotta read the signs here. Devour, comma, and we shall be your addiction for many years to come. What? I don't... Is that the Goodwill logo, I think? Is that a trademark? They even trademarked it. No. It's confused. Just sometimes Japan makes you wonder. Like, what? What's an egg waffle? Some interesting things here. A lot of the shops have been closed down on this side of the street for a while, too. It's nice to see the, um, a lot of the shops that were closed have opened up. This, this is sad. We showed this before. I'm gonna... I showed you this last time, but we're starting to see, you see, look at this old staircase here. As I pan up, this is so like 1980s bubble era. And it's been shut down and this building's not gonna be here when you guys come to visit unless you're here right now. But from the Yamanote line above, you can see it's got that round. Like what were the designers thinking when they made this building? Looks like a like a signboard or something for advertisements and there's nothing there now. But it's not boarded up and uh Looks like it used to be a, a slot in a pachinko place. Now it's uh, abandoned. So we are getting, um, here's the thing with Tokyo and the, the thing that I, I, I guess I admire and I, I don't admire <clears throat> because I'm somebody who likes to retain as much of the history even if it's kind of like new history, like Showa era. 
But, you know, Governor Koike, who's in charge of the city, she's very forward thinking and always thinking about how to make the city more commercial, how to increase business because of the revenue is, is good for the city. But at the price of maybe losing parks and losing old buildings and things like this, it's, it's, it's kind of heartbreaking, but I also understand it. She's thinking about jobs and, and creating a, a better city, but I think there's a balance to all of that. This used to be here, the shop where the t-shirts are was a place where I got um, a kakigori or something. So it, it has changed quite a bit. You see this coffee shop finally got some tables outside. And you can see the proximity uh, to the Tokyo sky trees is not, is not too far away. Does the radio and electronic parts market area still exist in Tokyo? The, the area, the, the only area that, that sells that stuff is in Akihabara and there is a radio, um, old radio parts uh, building across the street from the station. Uh, where is it? Behind the, where the old Sega used to be, the, um, what do we call it? It's now Gigo, underneath the Sobu line. There's a, a radio parts shop, and me and Scotty um, from the channel Strange Parts went in there the first time he came here to Japan, and he was just m m fascinated with the uh, transistors and the things like this you could find in there to create your own radio, which is something you might be able to find on Amazon, but you can't find these kind of uh, like uh, transistor radio kits anymore. This is interesting. This is a ramen place that has a line. Let's see what kind of ramen. Mm, it seems like there's also a way to to buy a ticket here. This is new. I haven't I haven't heard of them before. There's always you know, ramen is also one of those things that's always evolving. Shops get popular and then they, they, they go away. So it's, it's really hard. It looks like it's chicken base. I'm not sure. Duck. Yeah. Joshua writes in here, duck. Yeah. Let's go. Let's just take a look off of the side here. Have a quick look. See. There's a, a Chuka Ryori Chinese restaurant, which is lining up, lining up here. And that's pretty much it. You can see this side of the alley is, uh, um, there are some restaurants in the center. If you go straight down here, but it's uh, more popping after, after 5 p.m. Yeah, and now we're back where we started, back in uh, um, Okachimachi Station. There, it, it, it is so easy to just let an hour go away like that, walking around this amazing market. Um, <clears throat> again, like if you're comparing places for shopping, I think in particular street food, Askusa's Nakamise Dori, but not just that, all around that area is really good for street food. Um, they've really elevated since the pandemic ended um, with entrepreneurial offerings that make people take pictures and, and, and create excitement so you want to you want to try it too that stuff works if you can get something that's really interesting and put it and people want to take pictures of it it's like free advertising your shop's going to grow from that if you can have an original idea until everybody else starts to copy it and then you have to evolve you have to always come up with a new item and that's the great thing about japan the country is always evolving um, I'll take a couple of questions. We have a couple of minutes left. I didn't see any Native American jewelry shops here. I'm not sure if there's a market for it, but there might be a market for anything here. I know this is the area you want to have jewelry. There's a lot of jewelry shops in, in this area. And 
that's about it. All right, everybody, thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, Takea is that shop that's cocooned in the distance there. You see that building? Used to be the purple building. Now it's uh, being renovated, so it'll be back in a year, I guess. Um, that's, I used to shop there all the time. But now it's something else. So yeah, we'll, I'll take you over to the front of the Yamayoko Market, but uh, if you do come to Tokyo and you have an afternoon here and you're looking for an authentic shopping experience, this is the definitive market. Not just because Shimura-san is here and you can get it for a thousand yen, kind of a little performance and a show. I like that he says, welcome to Tokyo. He even says that to me and I've been here for 25 years. He's like, welcome to Tokyo, John-san. I'm like, what? Well, thank you for welcoming me. Feels like my first time again. Love it. It's so colorful. And here you are. We're back. We're back where we started. That's crazy. We're Brandon from Texas came to say hi 40 minutes ago. Awesome. If you like this adventure, click that like button. And by the way, I have a, a postcard going out to Jonathan in Sweden. Thank you, Jonathan, for signing up. Uh, this is going out right now. I'm going to send it from right here if I can find a post box. We have a new postcard uh, coming out every month. And this is the uh, vending machine restaurant from Sagamihara. 108 vending machines that they have here, food vending machines. It was a pretty, pretty interesting episode. So every time there's a, a different uh, theme to it. This is a postcard from last year. I was on the top of this uh, Tokyo sky tree. This episode's coming next month. They're cleaning the windows. <laughs> that was awesome. <clears throat> That's a long edit. And this one here. Uh, there's a uh, Godzilla with Mario at in Shinjuku. This is a pretty popular scene, but the. With the Mario movie playing, it was funny to see the two of them together there. So that was in the postcard. I try to find interesting stamps as well. All right, these are going out in the post box. I can't find the box. I'll find one uh, after the stream. But thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it. It's a fun time. I'll hang out a little bit. I'll be back tomorrow. We're going to talk about um, the currency now is 143 yen to the dollar. It's pretty crazy. Right now, how cheap it is for his visitors from the U.S., maybe some other Western countries. But we're going to talk about this this weekend, uh, a little bit about the currency and how this is impacting the prices here in Tokyo. This is now a year since, almost a year since we got up to like 150 yen to the dollar. It was at October 2022. It's pretty crazy. This is the, the, the highest that it's been since 1998. It might even be worth coming out just for that because you could take advantage of uh, things being, what is it, like 30, 40% cheaper than it normally would be. All right, everybody, see you tomorrow. Get ready for a main channel drop. The uh, motorcycle um, documentary is coming out. I'm still working on the thumbnail. There it is right there. But I'll put that on the main channel uh, maybe this weekend. Just work out a little bit. It's nice and perfect. That's coming real soon. Bye, everybody.